Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install a total one-piece toilet. Now guys, I already have one toilet video on the channel which will cover 95% of the toilets out there, but this total one-piece has its own specific design. Now I don't know if other manufacturers have their own uh, type of design for higher-end toilets, but uh, this would be the second type of Toto toilet that I've installed with this type of design. It's not the same as the other one that I did before, but guys, I hope this video will help you for, I guess, a higher-end toilet if you choose to go that route. So what we'll do now is material and tools. All right, guys, this is our material list. So we have covers, we have the lid, toilet line, wax seal, this is the collar for this. We have our toilet seat mounting hardware, toilet seat there. These bolts go back here. And then the anchors are for for this here. And then those are what the, those screws go for. And guys, this is our one piece toto toilet. Guys, that is material. So what we'll do now is the tools list. Alright guys, this is our tools list. So I've got a spray bone. I've got safety glasses, air plugs. This is our 5 16 tile bit. I have an inch underneath bit, half inch close quarter crimpers, cordless drill, and then my finishing kit, which has crescent wrench, uh, rapid wrenches, everything else I can possibly need. Guys, with that done, let's get started. Okay, you guys, first thing we have to do is make sure our collar is straight. So. At the flange, it is 14 7 8 and at the back, 14 7 8 Make sure that this is straight and not turn off to an angle. Now guys, the next thing is, we have to drill into the tile in those four places. So what I suggest is take a pencil, mark it there and there for all four. And then when you take this out, now you're going to have line to follow. So this is the four places that we need to drill for the pilot, uh, for the, um, for the uh, part in the back here. So guys, what I suggest is do all four, just a tiny bit into the tile. And that way you can make sure that everything is on before you go ahead and drill it all the way in. But guys, I need to address this toilet line. I need to drill a hole in the cabinet and then I also need to shut water off, cut that, cap it, and then run a new line from our cold through the cabinet to feed the toilet. Because where this toilet line is now, it's going to be right underneath the toilet and it won't be Installable the way it is All right guys, this is our water main so our water main comes up the valve here And then it tees off to the left and then you have the big red box So this place has a sprinkler system So guys the idea here is if you shut this off here, which is shutting off the sprinkler system It's going to shut off your domestic as well What they're eliminating is you shutting off the sprinkler system, but having domestic water still on so that's why this shut off will shut off everything and this is just a domestic. All right, so our water is off. Okay, our water is off. And now guys, just the cold side only. And then when I go upstairs and open the airlock, any other water will drip down here. All right guys, with the main off. This will introduce air, so anything will chip downstairs. So now what I can do is cut cap off the toilet line and then tee off the cold and rerun a new line for the toilet. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is just make sure that there's no water. Okay, that's good. And guys, make sure that you don't push the pipe down the hole with it not being capped. Because Lord help you trying to get it back. All 
All right, with that done, what we'll do now is tee off the coal mine. All right, guys, so I crimped the branch of the tee on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in this line for coal. So the pipe I have is blue, but I put some white tape on it, which will turn to the outside, so it'll just look a little bit better instead of having a mixed mash of colors. All right, guys, so we'll get our scutcheon back on so it looks nicer. So I'm gonna cut the pipe back right about here. Put our scutcheon on. And then we're going to put our stop back on. All right guys, make sure that the stop is off. And what I'll do now is go turn on the water. And guys, once again, when you turn on the water, don't crank it all the way open. Turn it on, allow the PRV to become completely silent, and then open it the rest of the way. All right guys, so we'll sh turn our main water back on. Valve is so stiff. Okay, so I'll turn it off here. And now because the faucet is still on upstairs this thing is not going to stop so I'm going to go shut it off and then we'll come back and see if the PRV is silent. So you can still hear the air in the system. Okay guys so our PRV here is now silent. So what we can do is turn it the rest of the way. And guys, by doing this procedure, you will not shock the system. So we'll get back to installing the toilet. All right guys, so I started the holes and as you can see how I missed a little bit and I had to recorrect on this one as well. And this is why I mean don't drill the entire thing, just get it close. So you can't really see all that well, but they all line up close enough that I think they should be all right. So guys, what I'll do now is I'll start drilling the tile. All right guys, I put the little green anchors into the holes. Now what I'm gonna do is we're going to take our wax seal and we're going to put it over the flange just like we usually do. And guys, then we're going to take our collar And guys, I think I need this to be a little bit higher, so we're just going to compress the wax to get it to be a little bit higher. Guys, when you're pushing your bowl down, or in this case, this collar, always make sure that you can feel the wax compress. Alright, so we'll take our little Phillips 
There's four of them and they go into the anchors in the back. Alright guys, I think it's better to do the uh, the screws in the back first because that's going to hold your flange in place or your collar, whatever you want to call this thing. Okay, I think that's it, all right. And guys, if you can, look in the in the holes to see if you can see the wax has expanded. But guys, with this now on, what I can do is I can bring the toilet to fit it over this collar. And um, guys, before I forget, which I did the first time, get your little T-bolts. Those are your little T-bolts. And then they go into the groove and push them to the very end to the outside. And this is what we're going to bolt the toilet to. And guys, once the bowl goes in, you put the washer and then you put the nut on top of the washer like that to hold it down. All right, guys, I've, so what I have done is I made a mark for the center. So I made a mark for the center. And then you see the mark right there. Now, guys, this is a pork chop that comes across, so this is gonna make it tough to see. But what you wanna do here is you wanna get this down here. Now, this is a one piece, and it's a pork chop on top of it. And I'm gonna do this on my own. So, guys, unfortunately, I won't be able to film this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lift the back end up, get it into the hole, and then I'll put the washer and the nuts on these and tighten it up. All right, so that's it on. And then you can see how the screw is sticking out from the side. So guys, I'm going to uh, tighten the nuts back down. All right, guys. So I shimmed up the bowl there and the bowl there. Toilet is nice and solid now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the toilet line. All right, guys. So the black at the top there that is where the toilet line is going to connect to, and then I'm going to loop it to the stop. Uh, once I connect the toilet line, I'm going to start filling the toilet, and we're going to test it to see if we have any leaks. And guys, make sure you set the toilet so the water level is a little bit lower than the top of the dip tube. This was already set, I didn't have to do anything. But make sure that you set the toilet or make sure that it's set before finishing the job. Alright guys, this is our finished product. So the homeowner here wanted me to put this bidet in. Uh, because of the day's lines over here, I couldn't get this cover on. But guys, this is the other style of toilet that I know of. It's just a lot more work to uh, to install. So guys, I'm gonna clean up, and then what we'll do is no review this job. All right, guys. So that concludes this project. So with these special specialty toilets, uh, guys, I think the single most important, the single uh, toughest part of this project is making sure that when you drill into the tile, you're drilling into the right place. Go just a little bit. Make sure all holes are going to line up properly because to fix it can be darn near impossible. You may uh, crack the tile if you start drilling holes. Guys, one other thing is when you drill uh, your holes into the tile, make sure that you have water to keep the bit cool because if you don't, you're going to burn out your bit very quickly. The time on this job, the time was about two hours. So guys, normally uh, a toilet install is probably about uh, 20 minutes. So that gives you an idea on the time difference for one of these things. The cost of this job, I had to supply the wax seal, 
the toilet line and the tile bit. So the cost of those were $25. The toilet was a customer supplied toilet. Now guys, I did check for this. This toilet is $1,150 right now. <laughs> so make sure that you don't drop or crack the toilet, especially a customer supplied toilet because, well, whether it's yours or not, you're gonna be on the hook for it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope something here is gonna help you on your total install project when you need to go ahead and do that. Guys, until next time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.